today we were able to acquire a top six forward. Uh, he's uh, still young in NHL years. He's 27 years old, but uh, he has experience. Uh, he's he's a proven uh, playmaker and as well as goal scorer, and I think he's going to fit into our group nicely. Uh, it's up to the coach, obviously, where he plays, but uh, the potential for him to play with Madonna and uh, Lettman is there, and I think that uh, should excite those two players. Talk about the reason you went after him and why. Well, I, I think uh, our team could use uh, an added uh, punch in offense, and uh, our players have accomplished quite a bit this year. You look at the injuries that we've had and what we've had to uh, overcome to this point, uh, certainly this team, again, is, uh, has earned the right to, for the manager to, to do what he can do to improve the roster as we head towards the playoffs and, and for the playoffs. And uh, I think we've done that right now. We, obviously, to, to get something, you have to give something up, and a first-round pick has value. But uh, we have a couple second-round picks that I think protect us this year, and adding a player that's going to go in and, and play in our top six is very important, and uh, uh, we're excited to do that today. Uh, it got done uh, basically late last night. Uh, we had finalized everything and said we would talk this morning. Uh, we've had our eye on him maybe for four or five weeks now. We, we've uh, let it be known that uh, our team has, has played well. We'd like to be a, a buyer. Our, our team has shown us no indication that they're not ready to compete. Uh, we're one point behind San Jose now and I think four behind Anaheim. Uh, so we, the Pacific Division isn't out of reach, but regardless of that, uh, we think we have a team that can compete in the playoffs and we want to give our players that opportunity. Hey, you talked too about to get to within four points of Anaheim, which uh, seemed like it would never happen the way <laughs> they started off. So this is kind of that extra point uh, punch. Could you start feeling what your team was doing? Well, we, we felt that. We felt that uh, when we got out to San Jose, that San Jose-Anaheim trip, though we ended up 500 on the trip, it was a real success. Uh, we went into to San Jose. We showed that we think we can compete with them. Uh, and then to follow it up with some, some home wins, uh, all we can do is take care of ourselves. We can't control what San Jose or Anaheim do uh, unless we're playing them. Uh, but again, we find ourselves going through injuries, uh, a little bit of turbulence earlier on in the year, and we're still seventh-rated uh, team in the NHL right now, and we, we see ourselves getting better. And we're going to get a not, a not a trade punch, but an added punch when Morrow comes back in the middle of March. And you add that type of player into that roster and your, your left side of your, your hockey team looks a lot better right now. Well, like you said, you're going to turn it over to the coach now. What did Tip say when, you, when this thing got done? Well, he was, he was excited. Uh, you know, I, I don't make these trades without uh, making sure that the coach shares my vision on how I see the player uh, fitting into our team. And uh, Dave was excited to, to add a player that, that he knows can, can handle 17, 18, 19 minutes a night can help improve our power play and we we've used some chemistry there with either madonna or ribeiro and now it's a, it's up for for those players to make it happen all right talk a little bit more about that you said that potentially could play with mo on mo's line talk about he's got speed uh, what, what well, else he's, he, well he's got he's got speed uh, he's got a uh, competitive level a good grit level uh, he has patience with the puck he creates time and space by uh, hanging on to the puck uh, he's a he's a very good passer but he can also finish. And I, I look at Mike, and I view Mike quite a bit like that. He's not a, a pure goal scorer or a pure assist man. He's just a, a really good hockey player. And uh, hopefully Nagy and Mike can, can find some chemistry. And uh, if Dave decides to go play, uh, play him with Ribeiro, I think he's going to have good success there too. So there's a couple of good options there. And, uh, and now it's time for me to turn that over to the coach. Wild from a hockey standpoint. And then uh, adding a, a, what I think is going to be a great piece of the puzzle for our team. We've... Uh, I think we've established ourselves as a team that uh, is a very hard worker and we play pretty well as a group, but um, you know, a little added extra skill I think will really enhance our lineup. And I've talked to a lot of people about uh, Nagy and everybody has uh, very good things to say about him. I think he'll be a real good fit on our team. All right. Can he play on Mo's line? Or how you I think there's a possibility. There's a possibility. He's a very skilled guy, very good with the puck. Um, and. He's the kind of guy that I think will excel with, with top players, top skill players, so he'll certainly get some uh, get an opportunity there. We know he has speed. Is he tough? Plays gritty. He's a, he's a slow back. Uh, plays gritty in the corners. He's not going to, uh, you know, his role isn't to go out and uh, uh, bump and grind and, and uh, punish people. His role is a skilled role, but uh, he's willing to pay the price to score and pay the price to get the puck to other people. And that's, uh, there's different styles of grit you can have. And uh, he brings a grit level that's on the offensive side that I think will really help us.
most of these things don't get to me till they're they're getting down to the uh, nitty gritty. Uh, but then Doug will uh, he does all the due diligence and uh, he comes to me and where would you fit him on the team and we talk about uh, you know his skill package, his uh, his attributes for what he's going to bring to our team as well as uh, personality. Does he fit into our team? And uh, making a couple phone calls, uh, we feel like he's a guy that uh, that will really help us. And I talked to him this morning, and he's awful excited about coming here. And uh, you know, he views our team as a as a very good hockey team with a chance to win, and he wants to be a big part of that. Our focus right now as a coach is to get our team playing as well as we can. And uh, we've been on a pretty good run here, but there's still lots of room for improvement. And if we keep uh, keep building towards. Uh, uh, being the top team, a top team down the stretch, I think that will enhance our chances in the playoffs. Well, you kind of right away got mixed emotions. Uh, a good teammate of ours is is moving on, so uh, you wish him the best. But you, you're excited for for the new guy. You, I've competed against him for a while. I know the skill and talent that he has, and uh, I think he will uh, he'll complement the guys we have on this team well. And, um, with the exception of last night, this team's problem has been putting the puck in the net, and I think um, the management did a good job and, and brought a guy here that throughout his career has, has been able to do that. Well, he's, um, he's a playmaker, but he can finish, he can score, um, he's pretty fast, he skates well, and He's actually got a little bit of grit to him too. So um, when the intensity is raised in, in the playoffs, and I, I think um, that's really w what the rest of our team is going to be tested by. I think you're always looking for a guy that's going to have that that little extra push, and uh, he's he's a guy that that has that. Well, you know, it's always sad to see a teammate leave, and this is going to be you know probably a good uh, chance for Tarney to get more ice time. But for our team. Uh, Every time you can add a proven player that's been you know, a leading scorer on his team in years past, and I believe he is this year too, uh, it's always exciting. You know, uh, one of our problems this year has been uh, you know, not scoring a lot of goals other than yesterday. Uh, it's been a problem uh, with our team, and you know, I think everybody here is excited to, to get a very skilled player like uh, Nagy. He's a feisty guy. He's known for his skills, but uh, he battles hard. He likes to compete. and. Uh, uh, you know they've been struggling over there this year, but uh, you know he's had some success, uh, and then hopefully he brings uh, you know his top game here, and he can help us, uh, you know, keeping uh, the thing. You know we got a pretty good thing going right now, and hopefully we can uh, go towards the playoff. You know with uh, a little more offense, and uh, we can use sure use his skills and grit uh, in our lineup.